Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Hillary. I'm a mom to a three-year-old named Sebastian and an almost 10-month-old named Zeb. So happy Vlogmas. Today's video where I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare for school, for Sebastian, for homeschool. Let's jump into the video. this in several videos so hopefully you know by now if you've been following me um but if not i am homeschooling sebastian and we are doing homeschool preschool using the busy toddler um playing preschool curriculum and i'm having so much fun doing it i absolutely love it he loves it um and it's just a really really fun time so every day when zeb goes down for his nap monday through friday his morning nap me and sebastian do school so <laughs> Um, if you didn't know, I'll link the videos above that I have from like our preschool curriculum videos or preschool videos that we've done. Um, but Halloween and Thanksgiving, I did specialized curriculum and followed the base and made my own curriculum and we did those activities and they were so fun. But this week <laughs> I slacked and because last week was Thanksgiving, I didn't order the books that I needed and you can use any books. You don't have to use the ones that she recommends, but I'm like, OCD and need like all of those books so I just ordered all of them <laughs> um, so I've ordered all of them through the curriculum so far but anyways I slacked and didn't get the books since today's Tuesday and we haven't been able to do school so we're basically just taking this week off as kind of like just a free-for-all like vacation week everybody needs one of those right um, but next week we'll start unit 7 which is the teddy bears unit so this is the curriculum um, I'll show you guys a couple of the pages if you want, um, but I don't know how much I can share like copyright versions. I don't want to share like her curriculum and stuff, but basically the, let's see, let me turn, let me turn the camera around so I can show you guys. So basically each page starts out with like your supplies, your books, you get a poem and a song, and then it just goes through the curriculum. So anyways, I'm not going to show all of that because like I said, I don't know how much of this is, I don't know how much of that is like her copyright stuff and I don't want to share her stuff because I know she's worked hard on it. Um, but basically, so for the first, so whenever we start a new unit, I have this um, shelf that my mom actually used to have in her preschool classroom um, when she taught preschool and she used it for the kids like. Each, she has two of them and she used them for her kids as their like take home where she would like put notes to send home to the parents and stuff um, But I took them and the bottom shelf is where we keep all of our paper. I have everything color organized We use so much paper um, And so I knew I needed a whole shelf pretty much dedicated to just that but the top shelf is what I use to I have Monday through Friday Monday through Friday and then the bottom shelves are just like my extras and so I like to go through the curriculum and take like whatever book I need and put that in there so that when it comes time for that day, I'm prepared and I'm not like running around my house like, oh crap, we need this for this activity, we need this for this activity, um, and not having it. So I like it all to be right here organized. I grab what I need for the day. We do school and everything flows so nicely. <laughs> um, so I thought I would bring you guys along for kind of how I do a unit. So I'm going to set the camera up over probably behind me so you guys can see as I'm filling the shelf. Um, and I'm gonna get the books. I literally just got my Amazon packages today with all of our school books. So I'm going to try and get all of this together and get this organized for school. So come along. Okay. So for Monday, Monday's book is going to be Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So let's see there. First package I opened. So this will be Monday's book. So I'm going to put this in Monday. And then I actually think Monday and Tuesday we read the same book. So then on Wednesday we need Where's My Teddy? So 
So this book, and I'll put it on Wednesday. And then Wednesday and Thursday we read the same book. And then Friday is we're going on a bear hunt. So I'll put that in here for Friday. Okay. And then the next week we read Corduroy on Monday. Oh, and then some of the books are just like outrageously expensive and I don't get them if they're like over six or seven dollars. Like I don't buy the book because I just feel like if I'm buying all of the mostly recommended books and they're like over ten dollars, I mean I'm going to be spending hundreds of dollars every unit and that's just too much money. Um, so this book that she recommends was like outrageously expensive and I just couldn't justify it because it was like an eleven dollar book. Um, so... That book day will probably, instead of reading a new book on Fridays, usually you read Monday, Tuesday the same, Wednesday, Thursday the same, Friday's a new book. Well, in this unit, Thursday, Friday is Teddy Bear Picnic, which kind of ties up all of the stuff you've been learning. So I'm gonna put this on Thursday, but then honestly, probably next Wednesday, what we'll do is just reread the book from Friday, going on a bear hunt. Um, and that's kind of how I like supplement it. If I don't order enough books, then like I'll reread one of our Friday books a different day. Um, or I'll pick out like a different bear book if we have one or something. Um, and I'll just pick out something different. But anyway, so now I'm going to go back to Monday. And let's see what our activities are. So we'll read the book. And then our activity this day is sorting teddy bears. Okay, so I don't really need anything for that. Because sorting teddy bears is just basically getting teddy bears out of his room. So I'll grab those like next week. And just like grab those right before we do school. Um, and then acting out Goldilocks is kind of the same thing. I don't really need to gather anything right now. Um, that morning I'll grab, it says three bowls, three chairs, three beds. So that morning what I'll do is grab like each of the things that we actually need for that activity. Um, after we do our calendar time. And then I'll pull those so that when Zeb goes down for his nap and we're ready to do school. Everything I need is there even though I can't prep it super ahead of time. Um, okay, so moving on to Tuesday. Let's see. Teddy bear themed alphabet hunt. Write the letter B on sticky notes. Take some of the teddy bears. Hide the teddy bears around the house. Give your child a stack of sticky notes. When they find a bear, they need to give the bear a sticky note B. Okay. So for this, let me show you guys. Let me take you over to our activity closet. And I'll show you kind of all of the stuff that I pull from when we need stuff for different units and how I have it organized. Okay, so I went and grabbed my sticky notes and I showed you guys the closet, but I don't know if you could hear. Um, I think one of the kids is waking up, so I'm gonna have to finish this later. So I'll be back soon um, to show you guys kind of how I still prep some more of the stuff for this next unit. But let me go check on the kids really quick. But what I wanted to say was I showed you the closet organizer. So technically that's a shoe organizer from my old bedroom at my mom's house. Um, but I took it and kind of repurposed it to have like all of our craft things really accessible so like popsicle sticks glue sticks sticky notes like all of the stuff is just right there super organized and super easy to grab and pull from especially things like buttons and all the things we use pretty much through different units periodically i wanted it to be easy to grab and then the bottom shelf that you saw has like one bin has like all of our paints and our stamps and our stickers and markers and crayons and that kind of stuff and then the other bin has all of our sensory fillers so rice beans uh, what else is in there? <laughs> Cornmeal, um, sand, kinetic sand, a uh, bag of like crushed Cheerios that Zeb can play with. So that's all of our like sensory bin fillers is in one of them. And then I also have all of the sensory bin tools. So different tongs and things like that that I keep in there. Um, so that is like the closet that I go to to pull everything to get this shelving unit organized when I need to pull all of our activities. Um, but like I said, I think Sebastian is awake, so let me go check on him and get him situated, and then I will finish filming this update either later today or tomorrow. I don't know. I'll fill you guys in and show you guys how else I fill everything in when I get a chance. Hi, guys. So it's the next day. Um, I don't even remember what I was filming yesterday. I know I was filming, like, setting up the school stuff and i was telling you guys i think about the closet was the last thing i said um the kids woke up you know the evening routine all of that kind of stuff got a little bit crazy 
So I never got around to finishing this yesterday, but I'm going to finish it right now. So I also look a little bit more presentable today than I did yesterday. Sebastian has gymnastics tonight, so since I'm leaving the house, I was like, might as well put a little bit of makeup on, you know, the whole shabam. So let's see. Oh, what do I need to do for Monday? Okay, I think I already did Monday. It was just the animals, so I don't need to do anything for that. Okay. Okay, so the sticky notes. I think that's what I left off on yesterday, right? So I grabbed the sticky notes, and then I never labeled them. So let me get a Sharpie and do my sticky notes with the letter B for bear. We've got our bees, so those go in Tuesday. And then the next activity is basically practicing our math and counting to threes because Goldilocks and the three bears. So I need to gather a basket of objects, three of every object, and then ask your child to sort through the basket and put the groups of three together. Example, building blocks, animals, puzzle pieces, pom-poms, buttons, crayons. Okay, so BRB to show you what I find. Okay, so for our groups of threes, I have three letters to his name puzzle. So I have the S, E, and B. I have three ice cream scoops, three pegs. He has three horses, three cars, three crayons, and three pom-pom balls. So ah! our bag of threes and this will go in here with our sticky notes for Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday are done. Okay, moving on to Wednesday. I'm gonna practice measuring with blocks. So like measuring the heights of different things. However, on Wednesday, we have to measure our stuffed animals and I do not have a bunch of the stuffed animals out here. I'll grab those next week when we start school. So I'm just gonna throw all of these blocks into Wednesday, put my book back in, and then the other activity will be learning hide and go seek, which is a game he, I think, has done before. So I'll hide the animals and he'll go find them. On to Thursday. So Thursday, I think, is when I need the gummy bears. Yeah, so in this activity, your child races two gummy bears on a simple game board. Using construction paper, make two columns, blah, blah, blah. You will play against your Okay, so now I have to get creative and draw a game board for us to race our gummy bears on. That took me like five minutes to do, but I think it looks cute. And I'm actually gonna go back and put numbers in these real quick, just because I think we can practice extra number counting, especially because he can officially count, which is amazing that he can officially count to like 11, um, sometimes 12, but he doesn't go any higher than that. He doesn't know 13 at all. So I think this is these game boards go to 15 if we, practice our counting it will um when we practice our counting it will help him just add in a little bit of extra math practice so here's our little game board okay so i got a bag for the t uh, gummy bears i also went and grabbed a dice because you have to roll the dice to play the game gonna put these in here on Thursday and then the other activity for Thursday is it says to trace a teddy bear but instead of doing that instead of tracing a teddy 
and some tracing teddy bear and like coloring it in and stuff. He hasn't watercolored in forever and he loves it. So I think what we're gonna do after we play our game is we're gonna watercolor. So what I did was I found a cute little teddy bear online. It's a coloring page. And then um, I'll put that in there and we'll move on to Friday. DIY coloring pages. So proud of myself. Anyways, this is going in Thursday. And he can watercolor that bear. Moving on to Friday. Okay, make a bear with shapes. Oh, more cutting. Okay, so we're gonna go get some scissors. Um, let's cut a bear. <laughs> I time lapsed me cutting all those circles out. It was actually like harder than I thought, but it turned out so cute. Obviously, like this isn't the completed bear because he'll complete it and like glue it all together and stuff. But I was gonna show you guys kind of he's a little big for the spot that I'm using, but hang on. I'll turn it around and show you guys. Obviously, those are his feet. And then we'll draw a little face on his little ears. Look how cute. This is what he's supposed to look like. So that's kind of what I was going off of. But cool. So I brought a bag. What I'm going to do is put all these pieces in here. Because I'm going to let him make this. Um, he'll glue it and practice gluing and stuff and making a teddy bear. So, I think he's gonna love this. He's gonna think it's so fun. And then we'll glue like little eyes on. So I need to get a glue stick. I don't think I have a glue stick in here. So I'm gonna go grab a glue stick. And then for the other activity, That'll be fun. Okay, so the other activity is going on a bear hunt. So what I'll do is go and grab a glue stick, toilet paper rolls if we have them, some string, and my hole puncher so I can get everything set for Friday. So I'll be back in a minute. Um, so we don't have any toilet paper rolls, but that's not that big of a deal because I'm sure before next Friday we will use toilet paper so I can save a couple of those. I got string and my hole puncher to make the binoculars, and I put the glue stick in... So, now you guys can see that that is one whole week of planning our activities. <laughs> Still need to do this whole week, but I don't even know if you guys are enjoying this. I mean, I hope you are because I think it's fun, but not everyone is like into things like this as me. So, I'm not going to film prepping the second week. Um, if you like this kind of video and want me to do more and you want to know more like of how I prep, what the activities are, that kind of thing. Let me know and I can show you guys like more, I guess, or I can do a different unit. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how I do it. I just go through each day, pull out whatever I need. If I have to prep anything, like obviously I don't want to spend the morning that we're doing school cutting out all those bear shapes or trying to draw a bear or find the blocks or, you know, like there's, there's just so many things that like it's so much easier to just pull out that day when it comes time so that's why i like to prep um so yeah that pretty much wraps up this video like i said if you guys like this or you want me to film more you want to know a different unit you want a tour of like all of the stuff that i have in that closet you want to know what kind of stuff i keep on hand i don't know throw me your ideas if you have creative ideas or if you want to know more um but yeah be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed i'm doing vlogmas if you didn't know this is a vlogmas video so make sure you subscribe come back every day for videos and subscribe 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 i keep saying it because i want to hit 200 before the end of the year and i'm so close as of today i'm only like 17 away so please subscribe just hit the button you don't ever have to come back and watch another video i mean i hope you do but like just hit the button so i can feel accomplished like just help me out um but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow in Vlogmas Day, whatever the next day is. <laughs> Bye.